In some ways, the INFP personality type is the ultimate raid boss when it comes to making conversation and small talk. In fact, it can be one of the most difficult personality types to have a fun and fluid conversation with. However, if you take the time, it can also be one of the most deep and awesome interactions that you might have in your life. So how do you talk to an INFP? How do you get them to like you? And how do you create a good connection between you and the INFP? In this video, I got the help of INFP Justine. I'm Justine. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. So you get to see firsthand how this conversation unfolds. I, think, uh, I don't know. I really like the travel. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Does it put you into a flow state to do it? Uh, yeah, it brings uh, the calm to me down. How long have you been doing it? Cool, yeah. cool. That's amazing. INFPs usually have something quirky or different about them, something they do that nobody else really does. And that's fascinating. So I thought I'd focus on that and I asked her to juggle and she did. And that was just awesome. That's really good. I'm really impressed. The most important thing that I learned from this conversation was that INFPs need to be allowed to have some awkward silences. In fact, these silences should not be awkward at all. It should be completely fine for an INFP to be silent and to not feel rushed or pressured to reply immediately. The fact is, they sometimes need time to think and if you can give them time and space to think, you'll get more insightful and interesting answers in the first place. What do I enjoy doing the most? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's just, I think that something is like... In some ways, I felt really honored that she would share that with me and with you guys. I mean, she doesn't know me. She doesn't know why I'm asking her to do this. She's just doing this because she's actually quite open-minded and so well, you might find INFPs to be a bit cold at first, what you'll notice is INFPs are actually quite easygoing and they kind of go with the flow and they kind of allow people to be people and that's one of the nice things about them. Ask an INFP about something that they do or something they like to do or something that's important to them. You'll probably find that there's always some cool cause or passion that really resonates with them. Good. Like if I believe in something that I'm doing. Hmm. So... It has to be a cause you care about or something that yeah. is important to you personally. So you're not very interested in money or achievement or success. What do you do, if I can ask? Uh, I work... I can't really, it's not really work. Uh, I have work volunteer in an organization about food sovereignty. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really interesting. So well, what do you enjoy about that? Yeah. I don't know, it's just that I think it's just, like, it's just what I believe in. Like, mm. yeah, if I look around me in the world, I think just that there is a lot wrong, and food is like something that keeps with everyone together, and there is now the way it is organized, it just doesn't work mm. because a lot of people are just suffering under it and not just people who also dress. So I want to do something about it. The third thing I'd highlight is don't ask them to explain things too much. Don't let them rationalize or explain with logic why they care about something or why they want to do something or why it's important to them. It's kind of hard for them to answer those kind of questions. It's much easier for them to just instinctively feel that something is important. It's much more difficult for an INFP to just explain why they feel that way. Why? Well, I just do. That's just how it is, you know? Uh, it's like asking uh, the sun to ask why it shines, you know? It just does, you know? Now I'm wondering, what are your tips and strategies to get to know INFPs, or are you an INFP? If so, please, please send us help because a lot of people are struggling to get to know you and would really like to. So what is something you'd like people to ask you if you met them in real life? What is something you'd like to talk about or something that's important to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.